So then I asked, wait, do I have to pay for it in order for you to bring me food? She said, yes, because if I pay for it, it puts me in my masculine energy. Wait, so we've been dating for a little while and can't bring me food, $20, unless I pay for it? What's up, y'all? Quick story time. So a young lady that I had dealings with or dating, was dating, whatever you want to categorize it as, was coming over to the crib, right? And so I was feeling a little hungry. So I asked her, I was like, hey, can you, you know, grab me food? I'm hungry and I don't want to leave the crib. She said, oh, sure. If you pay for it, I'll pick it up. Hmm. He basically asking his girlfriend that he's been dating for six to seven months that I come to my house. Okay, when you're coming, can you buy me um, a food, um, $20 meal when you're coming? And she was like, okay, when you pay for it, I will buy it. And now he came to the internet to rant and be like, oh, why would she say that? I have to pay for a $20 meal before she buys for me. Like women, I do so much for women, but they cannot do anything and all of that. Let me go ahead and roll the clip for you all to watch the hand. They will come back and talk about it. So then I asked, wait, do I have to pay for it in order for you to bring me food? She said, yes, because if I pay for it, it puts me in my masculine energy. Wait, so we've been dating for a little while and you can't bring me food, $20, unless I pay for it? And to me, don't get it wrong, I was not mad at all. She still came over. I, I went and got my own food and everything. But it did make me look at her different. Because to me, that's a character flaw. Because if you only have the capacity to do something for me on the, the condition that it's reciprocated or that like I pay for it, that means it's not genuine. It's not in your heart. And to me, that doesn't work because I'm the opposite. I hold those doors for you on those dates because it's in my heart. I pay for everything when you're with me because it's on my heart. I book your plane ticket because it's in my heart. I am not one to keep score. And so if you can't bring somebody that you've been talking to dating a $20 meal because that puts you in your masculine, major red flag. And then I post about it on my Instagram story. And one young lady was like, well, I would have done the same thing if we're not exclusive. Exclusive? Baby, we're talking about a $20 meal. I didn't ask you to go to the grocery store, <laughs> cook, fill out my refrigerator i asked if you could bring me food because we ain't got to be exclusive for me to pay for your nails huh we ain't got to be exclusive for me to hold all of these doors and bring you flowers but we gotta be exclusive for you to bring me a 20 dollar meal it's sad man and i think that's why we have the dating problems and trouble we have now because nobody is moving just genuinely everybody is keeping score and this attitude that like i'm not doing x y and z if he's not doing this for me or she's not doing this for me and unfortunately, I just don't move like that. I've never had. If you are hungry and I have it, you are fed. Simple. Whether I like you or not. Now, if I like you, it's a bonus. But it's in my heart to be this way. But I would love to hear y'all thoughts on the situation. Ladies, is she justified? Is she right? Fellas, what y'all think? Hey, beautiful people. I y'all doing today? Check out Myra Davis. And I'm back again with another interesting video. What she did, was it right or wrong, in your own opinion, okay? All opinions are accepted. Kindly put them down respectfully in the comment section. Do you think it's okay for her not buying the $20 meal and asking him that you have to pay me the money before I buy it? Do you think what she did was right or wrong or she was she just went too far? Let me know your thoughts about it down in the comment section. I have interesting stitches to share with you also. Let us sit down, relax, and watch the stitches together. At the end of all the stitches, I'll be back with my own opinion i went and got my own food and everything i keep seeing all women stitch this video and calling this man all kind of sassy names and oh no and you know ladies this is what you got to be careful and look out for but here's my thing he just wanted food like if he's fucking doing the most for you all the time why can't you do anything for him because this man wants a meal you're already on the way hey can you stop and grab me something to eat why are you asking this man to cash up you money like you don't have it why does everything have to come from this man financially you don't have your own coin i'm sure he don't be thinking about that when he's paying for your meals like oh shit you know what i'm saying she could be paying for her own shit it's very selfish and disgusting because if the man that I am dating asks me 
to stop and bring him something, baby. You eating. I'm bringing you whatever you fucking want. Call me whatever name you want to call me in the book, baby. I don't give a fuck. Because best believe I'm going to take care of you like you've been taking care of me. Because what's so wrong with reciprocating the same things that this man is bringing to you? My own food and everything. But it did make me look at her different. Because to me, that's a character flaw. Have y'all seen this video? Okay, because I want to talk about it real quick. The $20 was the issue. And I see some women defending it in the comments saying, oh, the $20, she just didn't have $20. Let me tell you why when a person says something like, you're putting me in my masculine energy. One, she is being vulnerable. person is being vulnerable when they're telling you that this is the energy that you're putting me in and I don't like that. This is a boundary for me and you're crossing that boundary. We're talking about this $20, this $20, but it could go deeper than that $20. Now, I'm from a bigger city. So if I'm on my way to your crib and I don't know your area like that, I'm on my way to see you and I'm presuming that it's, it's nighttime going into Netflix and chill, right? You calling me up and saying stop somewhere is going to set off my red flags. Putting me in my masculine energy may ha not have nothing to do with the $20. Why are you asking me to stop and get out of my car at night or stop and sit in a drive through at night? What if something happens? That is what I'm thinking about off bat. It don't even have nothing to do with the $20. Well, her saying that she could have been felt like she was being put in her masculine energy by being told to stop somewhere could have nothing to do with the money and everything to do with why you put me in a situation that could potentially be unsafe. So if we want to throw the $20 in there, that could go so many different ways. The whole scenario would have been different like for a woman saying like, oh, well, you know, it's $20, it's $20. But I thought that, you know, when you were dating, whoever is asking is paying for it. That's the general rule. That's, the, that's what I thought. That's what I thought understand both sides to where some women are saying it's just twenty dollars some other women are saying i don't do that period everybody has different boundaries and that's why they have the saying that they are somebody for everybody if she had to call him up and say listen i'm gonna stop and get some food do you want something he could have responded in different ways that would have been comfortable for her. He could have said, yeah, this is what i want and she would have been comfortable getting it because she initiated that or he could have been the type of man that said because I do this with my man. Like, I'll call and say, hey, I'm out. I'm going to stop at Chipotle real quick. Do you want something? He'll say, yeah, give me a bowl. And I look up, it's $50 in my account. He sent me the money to cover it. But again, we're talking about the difference between getting to know somebody and you are still being courted or being in a full-blown relationship. It's different scenarios for different situations. And in this situation, she simply was not comfortable. And her saying that I feel like you're putting me in my masculine energy is her communicating. You are a person who understands that type of verbiage, you understand communication, and you are really trying to be in a relationship or you really courting this person. This generation where the communication is just off, people just so quick to cut each other off because everything is transactional what happened to communicating it could have been like listen i feel like you're putting me in my masculine energy and he could have responded and said why tell me why talk to me in my mind i don't i'm not seeing where that's coming from and then she could have had the chance to respond and say based on your response i don't want to continue this or thank you for explaining to me how you think because this is what i have dealt with in the past i just feel like we're not communicating with each other in this generation and in this society in a whole if i go off on a tangent let's try communicating cutting each other off and want to come and talk about it on the internet is yeah, let me not. I'm rambling. Communicate and think about perspective. I just want to let you know the faster that we start to be able to communicate with each other, we can start talking about other issues like world issues, such as the multiple genocides that's happening across the world. Because, yeah, that's important too. So wait, do I have to pay for it in order for you to bring me food? She said yes, because if I pay for it, it puts me in my masculine energy. So I got a lot of different feelings about this video and how to respond to it. I mean, immediate thought would be, she don't really like you, right? That would be my immediate response is, if you asked her to get you something, she say no like that, she don't really like you like that. Because usually if a girl like a dude, yeah. she gonna do it. She gonna do it. But then I realized, like, this didn't happen to me before. And when it happened to me and the guy asked me to pick him up some food, I told him no too. And his response to me was kind of getting smart. He was like, well, I guess if I was your ex, you would get me some. And I was like, well, yeah, because my ex paid his dues for me to do stuff like that. I don't even know you like that, bro, right, for you to even ask me that. So it wasn't like he was a terrible dude or nothing. He might have got me something before. I don't know. I can't remember. But all I know is I ain't know him like that. Like, you ain't nobody to me for me to be stopping and getting you nothing to eat. I'm not Uber Eats. I'm not DoorDash. Don't be trying to bypass them fees by asking me to pick you up no food. Like, no, you're not my man. I'm not picking you up no food. Would I have done it for my ex? Yeah. You? No, I'm not going to. 
Now, I will say that whole, it's put me in my masculine energy thing that he said she told her as an excuse why she didn't want to pick up the food and pay for it. Save it, sis, right? You can save that goofy excuse. If you don't want to get him food, just say no with your whole chest. But that, it putting you in your masculine energy, stop it, right? You just don't want to do it. Just say you don't want to do it. But here's my main thing. He talked about how in this generation, a lot of people is tit for tat is people keeping tabs, people keeping score. I'm guilty of that myself, so I really can't say much about it because I don't believe in overplaying your part. I reciprocate the energy. I pour into the glass just as much as you pouring into it, but I don't do more than what you're doing. I don't do more than what you're doing. Don't really care how anybody feels about that. That's my personal preference when it comes to dealing with people. I give just as much as you give, nothing more, nothing less. I give what you give back to you, right? So if I was dealing with a dude and he been doing nice things for me, I don't have a problem with picking him up some food. I may even suggest it before you even bring it up. Like, hey, I'm on your my way to your place. Do you want me to pick you up something to eat along the way when I get me something, right? But when you ask me, it becomes more of a favor than me wanting to do a nice gesture, right? And I mean, if leading up to that time, you've done a bunch of nice things for me and you've come over my house and you've brought food and stuff like that, then that's fine, right? But I don't know enough about this story to really say. Only thing I can pick up from the story is somebody said he'd been talking to this girl for like four or five months and they still just talking. Like, what are y'all actually doing? Sound like you're just wasting her time and she might have been picked up on the fact that you're wasting her time and she don't really feel like putting any more really into it. He mentioned that he may have gotten her nails and hair done and that kind of stuff. That's fine. You said you did it out of the kindness of your heart. So if you did it out of the kindness of your heart, that means you shouldn't have been looking for anything yeah. in return. If you bringing up the fact that she couldn't get you food and using those times when you did nice things for her, then that means you're keeping tabs, right? Yeah, <laughs> Let's be for real now. If you bringing up what you did as a rebuttal as to why she couldn't pick up a $20 meal, that means you're keeping tabs. Right, So it really wasn't these nice gestures that you did because when you truly do a nice gesture, you don't look yeah. for anything in return from it. This is really a ramble all over the place because like I said, I don't really have enough details of the situation to really make a clear observation. But just from the outside looking in with a little bit of details and information that we have, if that's not the type of woman that you're looking for, then move on, right? She didn't clearly show you who she is. I doubt this is the first time that she didn't show you that she all about herself. So if you continue to deal with her, you continue to deal with her. But she wasn't wrong. You wasn't right. She is who she is. You are who you are. If you like to do that kind of stuff and not expect anything in return, and you're looking for a girl like that, go find one. That just ain't her. But it did make me look at her different. Because to me, that's a character flaw. Now, this is an amazing lesson, not only in relationships, but friendships, because everyone has different expectations and standards of each other. So this girl may have zero character flaws. Maybe she would give so much to him as to cook for a day straight, slave over the oven for him. But when it comes to paying, she doesn't believe because of society and her parents and how she was raised that she should ever spend a dollar on someone. In our friendships, sometimes we're willing to do so much for our friends. And when we see they're not willing to do it for us, we're like, what? How could you not do that for me? But it's not that they don't love you. It's that they don't give their love in the same way that you do. And we take it personally. How could she not go pick me up food? I would pick you up food every day. But maybe she would pick you up food and put it on the oven and put it on the freaking stove. But she just won't spend money on food for you because that's what she has been programmed to believe is right versus wrong. It's important to have communication with someone. In this case, I would say to the girl, Hey, I just want you to know it hurt my feelings. It made me feel like you wouldn't go out of your way for me. You wouldn't give for me because I would give for you. And she would go on to say, I'm sure if it wasn't a character flaw, oh my gosh, of course I would give for you. I just, with money, it feels like the man should cover it. And those are her beliefs. And if it's that much of a misalignment, then the relationship won't work. But if he can see, oh, okay, you're willing to give. These are your values. Let me adjust my expectations then they can compromise and make it work. And she can compromise as well by saying, you know, this really matters to him. So let me pick up food here and there. I think this is an important lesson to keep in the back of your mind for your friendships and your relationships. I hope this helps you to see from another person's perspective and that it's not always so personal. I love you. Bye. $20 meal. It's sad, man. And I think that's why we have the dating problems and trouble we have. All right, so y'all go back and watch that video for full context, but bro had a lot of solid points. And this kind of reconfirms why 
when it comes to expectations of women versus men. I understand them, but it's gotten to a point where a lot of women will weaponize being a woman and demonize you being a man. The needs could be the same, but they'll create a difference. I say that because for a while, a lot of women were saying that a first date should be a man taking a woman out to eat, right? And him not expecting sex. And women and women quite literally will say, just because you're feeding me doesn't mean that I should have to put out, right? But according to this young brother, uh, he's dating a young lady for a minute. And she's saying that the only way she's going to get food is if he pays for it because she's in her masculine, which sounds to me like code for I'm going to be at a loss and I'm not taking a loss at all. Letting me know that women understand that when they require men to spend 100, 200 or any sort of money on the first date, that that man is taking a loss. You can't not understand it when it's on the shoe of the men, but then suddenly make statements like that when it's asked of you as a woman, especially a woman who's been in a relationship for a while with a man. Because like he said, y'all as women don't think that we have to be exclusive to come off money for y'all. But when the roles are reversed, y'all don't feel the same. But then when we say that y'all are unfair and y'all create rules for yourselves and then say that they can't apply to men, to y'all that makes sense when really it's just starting to boil down to game. Bro said he ended up going and getting his own food, which means that he just told her, never mind. Now, let's take a poll. Ladies, if a man and you were in that situation, roles reverse, and you asked him to get you food, and he was like, yeah, if you pay for it first, or you have to give me some pussy first, how would y'all feel? Especially if he followed it up with something like, yeah, because if I let you take advantage of me, that's me operating in my feminine like a bitch, not like the man that I am. So I'm gonna need you to come off something before I go get that. Y'all probably be quick to leave his ass alone, but y'all think it's all good when y'all do it to us. And bro said $20. I don't know too many women who are wanting you to spend just 20 on them. At the end of the day, it's plain and clear that y'all weaponize being a woman to have certain unrealistic standards. But if men at any point in time ask those same things of you, suddenly it's demonized. Man, if it's bad, it's bad. And if it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. Y'all be, be making up rules as y'all go so that y'all can have the one up. And it starts to boil down to the fact that a lot of women will only be with you if they are never required to take a loss of any kind. And they'll only stay with you if you allow them to make you, as the man, take the losses. And yeah, that is why a lot of men start to become transactional. It didn't start with a lot of men. A lot of women have been doing this for so long that men are like, okay, we're going to get with it. And that's also why a lot of relationships don't seem genuine. Because they're not. I understand that a lot of women are traumatized by men, especially on a financial aspect. And I understand that a lot of women are triggered. But I need you to watch that whole video in its whole entirety because he said a lot. And a lot of people are just stopping at the fact of he was hungry or he asked for a meal from somebody he was dating for five months. And a lot of people were saying like, oh, it was a sneaky link situation. The moment you lay with someone, you give up parts of your soul, parts of yourself, because it becomes a marriage. Two becomes one, right? And if it was a sneaky link situation, so what? <laughs> it don't matter, G. And he said, every time they go out, every time he sees her, he pays for everything, flights, <coughs> all of that. You know, if you're dating someone and they're making you feel secure within a relationship, if everything is good and y'all vibing out, it is what it is. You know, people live their life differently. No judgments. But a lot of people were saying that she wasn't feeling secure or she was guessing about the relationship. That's why she didn't feel inclined to get this man a meal um, a lot of people were saying a lot of things. One creator, uh, she is like a relationship advisor or a marriage counselor, proceeds to say that, you know, these men uh, want to be treated like females and, you know, her husband would never. Um, 
he got a little sugar in his tank. Oh, and people were commenting about the eye patches. Like, these are sassy men. Uh, another creator. I mean, so many people have so much to say about <laughs> this man. It's absolutely insane. And it's crazy because we are Aboriginal men and women going head to head uh-huh. over being kind to one another. Showing kindness. Reciprocity. Showing love. I don't get that. As women, we love to be provided for, protected. We love gifts. We love offerings. That's what we look for when we're dating. Do he actually like like me? Do he fuck with me? You know what I'm saying? Like, does he treat me real kind? Is he always of service to me? Like, that's what we look for. This is This is what we want. But when it comes down to reciprocity, all of these relationship advisors tell us not to do anything. Like, they need to damn near break their neck and put a ring on it before we show that same type of kindness. We are all connected and we are all in spiritual contracts with one another. And I understand most women's perspective on this because we do suffer from trauma being kind and being used and abused, you know. But if you could feed a person in need, then I'm pretty sure if the man that you are in a spiritual contract with, you know, you you know, two became one and he said he was hungry, I'm pretty sure that you it wouldn't be a problem. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be a problem. And I'm talking from a space of somebody that you 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 vibe with. It, it it shouldn't be a problem. It's not rocket science. It's not about masculinity and femininity and who works and who don't. And it's not about none of that. Like society has been doing a number on the Aboriginal man and woman. Not my phone acting up, but listen, society has been at war. It's been a psychological warfare between the Aboriginal man and women for centuries understand that it's not about who pays it's not about who cooks it's not about it's all about completion it's all about completion within self it's all about kindness listen if you was hungry and you're dating someone don't you deserve to be taken care for if you ain't have it or if you were sick don't you be you know what i'm saying don't you deserve to be taken care of or nursed back to health these are the things that these relationship advisors or these podcasts need to start talking about. Talking about walking in your womanhood, what it means to walk in your womanhood, or what does walking in your manhood look like, you know, how to treat and love on yourself first and heal from past traumas that you experience with other men and women. Like, that's what we need to be, like, working on instead of who's wrong, who right, who pays, what the man is supposed to do, what the woman is supposed to do. We need to focus on our own journeys, our own previous um, traumatic things that have happened to us. Like, we need to work on that before we can really come together because if not, we're going to keep clashing and keep on having these, these, these roles and these rules from people on the internet, for real, for real. And to wrap this all up, my G said that he did things for her out of the kindness of his heart, dates, flights, anytime she came through, she didn't have to worry about anything, nails, flowers, he did it out the kindness of his heart. And it probably high key, low key hurt his feelings when he said that he was hungry. And my sis was like, nah, <clears throat> like that's that part. That's the part. Come on, so I asked him, I was like, hey, grab me food i'm hungry and i don't want to leave the crib she said oh sure if you pay for it i'll pick it up Mm -hmm. so then i asked wait do i have to pay for it so when my boyfriend and i went on our first date and after he paid for dinner i thanked him for the meal and i said thank you so much for a really nice time thank you for taking me out i really enjoyed it and you know what he said he said thank you for spending time with me ladies 
do not date men who only value you for what you can give them date men who value you for who you are and throughout our relationship together he always always says thank you for spending time with me thank you for being with me he always pays every single time and he does not he's not transactional like this man the truth about these transactional 50 50 dudes i did this for you so now you have to do this for me is that they don't value you for who you are they value you for what you can give them and this is exactly the case with this man right here ladies when god and the bible says to not sleep with men before marriage it's not archaic it's to protect you from men like this you best believe this woman probably slept with this man okay and he still views her as an object at this point there are a lot of men who value you for being a woman for being yourself for being with them and not for what they give what you give them in return okay masculine energy is about giving feminine energy is about receiving and i'm always in my feminine around my boyfriend because he is so masculine anyways let me know what you think in the comments i know we all saw the video where the guy was like oh babe can you bring me something to eat because i don't feel like leaving the crib and then she goes and says yeah i'll bring you something to eat if you pay for it so he go he said wait i gotta pay for it in order for you to bring me something to eat and she said yeah because if i pay for it then i'm in my feminine energy i know we saw that and i read them comments and i was flabbergasted I was flabbergasted and I, I, I gotta say something about this. My thing was this, number one, she couldn't come to my house anymore because what that would have proven to me is your IQ is low. You can't come here anymore. You can't because you are using this idea of masculine and feminine energy and you're weaponizing it to relieve responsibility off of you. And that's not relationship. But the thing about this masculine and feminine energy thing that's really starting to disturb me is I think it's making a lot of women insecure in their femininity. And I mean that to say is you're starting to question, am I doing what the man should do? Am I being the man in the relationship? You could never be because you're not a man. Your femininity is the essence of who you are. You exude it by the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you dress, the way you navigate through the world. That is who you are organically and naturally. And when you stand firmly in that, it's unwavering. And y'all are letting outside sources make you question it and make you say, am I being woman enough in this? Because when you say to yourself truly, am I being the masculine or feminine energy right now? You're saying to yourself, am I being woman enough in this? You are always woman enough. Whether you brought him a car, a coffee, or something to eat. Y'all gotta get out of the habit of that because these outside pressures are always going to make you never feel like you are fully meeting the standard, the standard that you as the woman have already had set. It's bad enough that you have to deal with the patriarchal system, but now within your own relationship, you're bringing that in. Am I wearing the pants right now? Babe, it's up to you to wear pants. A skirt is really your choice. No matter what you got on, you still all woman. You still all feminine for me. Y'all gotta get out. Y'all gotta release that. If you're still here, kindly let me know your thoughts, your comments, your suggestion, your opinion down in the comment section. All the opinions are accepted, of course, in this channel. If you put them down respectfully. Hmm. <laughs> See. I don't know i cannot judge i feel like we should not judge the whole scenario like that but i feel like for a girl to to tell you that she's not going to buy you a 20 dollar meal and tell you you have to pay first she has seen a lot she has seen shaggy and she has seen a lot no might not be from you but from other guys and then i feel like there is backstory and low-key i wish i wish the girl would just come to the internet and be like okay i'm the girl i'm the lady that you know they did not give him the 20 dollar i just wish she can have that video and say a part i really want to have a part because you really cannot tell what has been going on in the relationship i feel like of course i agree with one of the stage where we say that she doesn't really like him and that's one period like if a girl really likes you she would do it what is 20 dollars and i feel like it's not that she doesn't have that 20 dollar bill but she doesn't want to start something that's going to be like a normal thing in the relationship like okay i'm going to get you a meal today maybe tomorrow night it's not going to be 20 dollars it's going to be 100 dollars. or maybe she might have asked him for some things and 
he was like i can't do this for you because you're not really my girl because he, d he replied a comment in his video that's the original post he replied the comments in the video that <clears throat> she's a sneaky link so probably has not really defined the relationship so you've not really defined the relationship and you expect her to start putting in money in the relationship like she's a lady for god's sake for god's sake okay let's talk about you saying that you don't really um you don't do much or you're not asking us to do so much because you're not transactional what he said in the video all him saying that i can i open doors i buy flowers i do this you expect something in return and i feel like when you give and you're expecting something in return even if it's not just relationship even if it's friendship at the end of the day you start counting the things that you've done for these people and it makes you feel more bad like how can this person do something like this? after all the things i've done but if you're just doing things out of really the goodness of your heart because he said he was doing these things out of the goodness of his heart if he's really doing this thing out of the goodness of his heart it means that i don't think he has to be counting as her saying listing the things he has done blah 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 like <laughs> it shows that he's transactional and of course he should choose better because <laughs> that is what they will tell us they'll tell us to choose better okay it should choose better but for me i don't see anything wrong in buying someone a 20 dollar meal if i like the person and the person is my friend i don't see anything wrong with it in fact i cannot even come to your house empty and dead if you invite me in i have to buy you something so if you're not telling me specifically on what to buy and i see that it's affordable at my end i'm going to get it for you because why not if there's like there's no underlying issue like there's no um issues that we've not solved or anything probably there's a problem or i ask you for money or something about money and or maybe i ask you to buy me a meal too when you're coming and you're like can't you cook or something something like i just feel i low-key feel what do you all think i low-key feel like there's something going on that we need to hear from aside like we need her to come on the internet to tell us like you all this is me and this is what went wrong because i don't want to believe that someone will just be like that with you and you you've been all nice to her she just be like that to you i don't want to accept and believe that personally anyway let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section and thank you all so much for tuning in and i'll see you all in my next video don't forget to like share and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell when you subscribe so you can get notified when i upload interesting video like this one all right i'll see you all in my next one bye